What did you think of the Chiefs winning against the San Francisco 49ers? It was an awesome game. Uh, it started off kind of slow, and it was kind of rough to watch at the beginning. By the end, man, it was just nail-biter and probably my favorite game of the playoffs, which is always nice when you get rewarded with a Super Bowl that was probably the most entertaining game of the playoffs. It's an absolute terror to go from Tom Brady to Patrick Mahomes and just have to just constantly think of that's what you got to go through for your team to ever win a championship because Patrick Mahomes is into that status of like, you just don't bet against Patrick Mahomes at this point. I don't think, I don't think it's really a comparison in the, in the sense of like Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes. I don't really want to do that yet, but I mean, they're both just ridiculously good. They're just, they make the hardest position in all of sports look ridiculously easy. And I'm, I'm very, very jealous. I hope it's not as unstoppable as I think it's going to be. Back in the day, you at one point told me you were going to buy me a Mrs. Brady jersey because of how much I like Tom Brady. And it's because I appreciate greatness. I, I came to this country and I started living in Chicago right in the middle of the Michael Jordan stuff. And I witnessed, you know, the second three-peat here and started to appreciate greatness in sports. And so when I saw Tom Brady doing the same thing, I learned to kind of just appreciate what Tom Brady was doing. And it's hard not to appreciate what the Chiefs are doing, in my opinion. I know a lot of people hate it, this and that. You always hate the guy you can't beat. But what they have going on there is amazing. They were able to um, win Super Bowls in different ways. This is very um, replicable to the one year. I believe it was 2006 when Tom Brady had no weapons and still went off and won it. I mean, same thing with Patrick Mahomes. Uh, they were definitely the worst talented team when it, compared to the 49ers. The 49ers have talent everywhere, but still at the end of the day, the better quarterback comes out on top. And I just want to give credit to one guy in particular who I loved and I've loved for a long, long time. You know, you could look at this game and say, wow, it really came down to a blocked extra point. And it's amazing how that special teams effort and that special teams play really truly changed the whole landscape of the game. Because if, if they're able to kick that extra point, the Chiefs never tie it. The 49ers win. And who is the Chiefs special teams coordinator? None other than our own beloved Taub. So, you know, he was the coordinator here in 2006. That guy does great work wherever he goes. And I'm happy that his part of the football team was able to come through in a very, very big way. You know, this is the Chiefs off year, and they still kind of pulled through. At the end of the day, like, I think uh, you just need that quarterback who's just clutch and doesn't get scared. Once you get to a certain level of talent, you kind of coast through the regular season, making sure you make the playoffs, and then you start playing for real. And I think Patrick Mahomes just entered that, that status. Like, if he throws two interceptions in a game, it doesn't matter because it's not a playoff game. And then I think – before his interception in the Super Bowl, he went seven straight games without throwing a pick in the playoffs. So he's absurd. We're all uh, we're all doomed. We all have to go through Patrick Mahomes. One of the things I said early on in some of the videos I made in 2022 about Justin Fields when he was getting those 50, 60-yard runs, I was like, wow, this is great. This is awesome. I would still prefer it at the end of the game rather than in the first quarter. Hell, I'd prefer it in the playoffs rather than in the regular season. When you have a weapon like that with your legs, man, you could really catch some people off guard and whatnot if you know what you're capable of. And it seems like you mentioned that about Patrick Mahomes. You said, look, every playoff game, he always hits the over on the expected rushing numbers. And it's almost like, yeah, because he's not willing to sacrifice his body during the regular season. He knows he's got legs. He knows he could run for a first down. He's just not worth the hit. But during the playoffs, oh, no, he's going he's gonna to go all out. You know, he's yes. going to use every weapon he has to try and, and get it done. It's nice to have an athletic quarterback, but it's nicer to have an athletic quarterback that knows how to use it the right way to extend the pass. And that's what we've we always said about Justin. Like if he gets if he puts it together and knows how to use that insane athleticism to make his arm more dangerous. Totally. One of the best quarterbacks in the league. But up until now, I don't think he's really understood how to unlock that. And Patrick Mahomes is literally just the best example of an athletic dual threat quarterback that you don't think of as a runner, but when he needs to, bam.